this video, I will discuss red-black trees and their visualization in the Java system. First, I go to java.org and click on the button to start the visualizer. Once Java opens, I click on Connect, select red-black trees from the drop-down menu, and click Visualize. The window that opens allows us to enter our own data or have random data generated for us. We'll have random data generated for us this time. We're now in the main visualization window for Java. On the left we have a mostly blank area. This is where the red-black tree will be displayed. On the right is a pseudocode version of the red-black tree algorithm and the value of the variables in the pseudocode. Notice the line that is highlighted. This is the next line to be executed in the algorithm. Above the pseudocode is an info tab. This tab provides information to the student about the algorithm that they should read before using the visualization. They can also refer back to it while going through the visualization. The Java system allows us to move forward and backwards in the execution of the algorithm. We'll move forward in the algorithm. Notice that 15 is now in the tree. Additionally, a blue 13 is to the right of the root node. This means that the root node corresponds to the current node variable in the pseudocode. As we move forward, the empty left child of the root node becomes current node and is marked appropriately. Additionally, since current node is null, this non-existent node is colored blue. We step forward again, and the node is created in colored red as it should be. We will continue stepping through the algorithm. As you can see, we have a parent and child that are both red, so when the remedy double red function is run, the tree is rotated and recolored as expected. We will continue through the algorithm. Occasionally questions come up which are randomly generated by the Java system. This time the question asks, whether inserting 11 will cause a problem and can be answered with true or false. The correct answer is false, but we'll answer true to see what happens. We select true and click check answer and it says wrong, try again. Now we'll select false, click check answer and it says correct. Additionally, Java has a quiz mode in which students are required to answer the question and student results are sent to the professor for grading purposes. We'll continue through the algorithm. Another question has popped up, and this time it requires a short answer. It asks, what is the pre-ordering of the current tree? We type in the correct answer, which is 13, 7, 11, 15, and 19. We'll click check answer, and it's correct. Students can turn off questions by going to options and clicking show questions. However, in quiz mode, questions cannot be turned off. We'll skip to the end of the visualization. As you can see, the nodes of the tree are in the proper order and have the correct coloring. 